Hey, what's going on everyone? Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Into SC4, I'm with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum of Five. Hello. And welcome to another podcast, Lombard Podcast, episode number three. Uh, yeah, third episode we're doing the Lombard Podcast. Of course, I'm Joseph Lombard, he's Zachary Lombard. Uh, Zach, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing okay. Doing okay? Nice. So, uh, by the way, before we go any further into this podcast, I want you guys to do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss another video. And do the same thing for Zach's channel as well, Magnum of Five. His channel is in the link in the description below if you want to check it out. Also hit the subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss another of his videos. So, uh, yeah, we're back for another podcast, episode three and stuff. And uh, what's going on, Zach? Everything all right with you? So far, so good. Nice, awesome. So. We're going to get into the questions uh, right now uh, that people has asked in the episode two in the comments. And uh, so if you guys have any questions for Zach and I, uh, feel free to uh, post your question in the comments below. Uh, only one question per person. We've had people that's asked multiple questions and stuff. We're only going to pick question, one question per person. So only ask one question in the comments below. And who knows, maybe your question could be featured in podcast episode number four. So ask your question now in the comments and maybe we'll answer them. So I picked out three questions. Here's the first question. Stephanie Castleberry asked, Ever, even though you live in Georgia, are you and Zach still going to be fans of the Los Angeles Dodgers? Absolutely. Yes. Zach and I will still always be fans of the Dodgers no matter what. Even if we lived in the other side of the world, we'll still be the fan, fans of the Dodgers. Speaking of blue, we're wearing blue as you can see, um, and Dodgers are moving forward, you know, they're in the playoffs, they just beat the Brewers to move on forward and stuff, hopefully they can make it to the uh, World Series, and hopefully they can win this time and not, like, lose, like they did the last couple of times they were there, that, that would suck, but yeah, just because we're in Georgia now, we're still going to be Dodger fans no matter what. Uh, second question, uh, this guy asked a few questions, but I'm only going to pick one question and stuff, and that's why I was referring to only ask one question per person and stuff, uh, because we're only going to pick one of them. Uh, so, is there a way I can listen to this podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts? That's something we're looking into in the future. However, we have no plans on adding the podcast to Spotify or Apple Podcasts right now, but... Uh, we ha I have thought about it, at least on Spotify, but I have uh, not made, you know, made any moves on doing that yet. So right now, all the podcasts are still going to be uploaded right here on the YouTube channel. And a final question from Michael Medina. Hey, Joe, are you planning on going to Championship Weekend in Phoenix, or are you done going to races this year? Well, I'm still going to Talladega this weekend, and that might be my last race I'm going to this year. Uh, Phoenix, you know, I've been going to Phoenix the last couple years, and this year, because of COVID, they're only doing, uh, their priority is only to invite us season ticket holders, and some fans got accepted only to go to the truck race, some fans only got accepted to go to Xfinity, and some fans got accepted to go to Cup, and some fans have been able to go to two out of three races, and some fans are able to go to all three races. But then there are some fans that are not able to go to any of them uh, because of the limited capacity that they're doing. Uh, they're only adding about 8,400 fans. Uh, I did get approved to go to the Truck and Xfinity race at Phoenix, but I have not got approved to go to the Cup race over there. And if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go to Phoenix, I'm gonna I want to uh, go see the Cup race as well. But if I'm not able to go to the Cup. Cup race, and I do not have any plans to go to Phoenix this year. I want to go because it's championship weekend, and it's the first year they're having it at Phoenix, but, you know, with COVID and everything going on, you know, it is what it is. Stuff happens. Can't do anything about it, but, uh, so, not sure yet if I'm going to Phoenix. So, those are the questions that I have answered, uh, that we both have answered, uh, but... Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions you would like to ask, make sure you go in the comments below, submit your question, and who knows, we may be answering your question in episode four of the Lombard Podcast. So, so Zach, mm -hmm. um, what was that? 
that was a loud noise outside. Yeah. Some, somebody dropped something. Um, maybe it's our cat. I don't know. Maybe his mom. I don't know. Um, so, big story for, since last night. Trump got tested positive for COVID. And the first lady as well. I've seen that, yeah. So, our president has COVID now. And here's the thing. Nobody deserves to get COVID, okay? Like, it's a serious thing. And whoever has COVID or has had COVID before, I wish them all the best and hopefully for a recovery because over 200,000 Americans have died from this. I know. And it's a serious thing um, that people should take seriously. I'm tired of people thinking it's a joke or it's hoax. Even, honestly, the president has done that too. He thinks it's been a joke has called it a hoax before, uh, so, and here he is having COVID. Hopefully a recovery for him and uh, the first lady, uh, but, you know, please wear your mask. If it's required, wear it, practice social distancing, um, stop being ignorant, stop being an idiot, you know, stop fighting about it, please wear the mask. And here's the thing, I posted on a photo of me wearing a mask on Instagram earlier, and I took that photo like a month ago, but I decided to post it because Trump getting tested positive and stuff. Um, and I knew I was gonna get some ignorant comments, some responses, I knew I was gonna get it, you know, when I posted it. And so you got people that say, oh, it's not required in my area. Like this guy lives in Florida, and he said that it's not required anymore down there. Uh, yeah, it is because I have a few friends that lives down in Florida and they still have to wear the mask and so I still require where they're at. So don't lie to me, okay? If you're watching this, don't lie to me. And then you got people saying, it's no big deal. Why are people making such a big deal? Oh, it's a, it is a joke. It is a hoax and stuff. Are you mocking me? No, I'm just mocking the, uh, those. Oh, ones. Jesus. Because yeah. it looked like you would... You were doing this while I was speaking. Yeah, I thought you were doing that to yes. me. I'm like, are you one of those people, Zach? No. I was like, that's the same, man. I'm like, don't you dare. Or else I'll punch no, you I out. No, I swear I'm actually do that from the people who's being ignorant. Well, Jesus. Wait till I'm done talking. I, I know, I'm sorry. But, my gosh, Zach. Um, I was so confused right there. I'm like, all right, Zach. You're one of those people. But, no. Um, just, you know, like, stop fighting about it. Wear it. Please, like, God, stop being ignorant. Stop being exactly. a fool. Um, if it's required, wear it, okay? Practice your social distancing. It isn't that hard, oh, no, okay? It all. isn't that hard. Now, here's the thing. Do I think masks fully help 100%? No, I don't no, think no. so. But if I'm asked to wear it, I'll wear it. I'm not going to complain about it. It does help in a way. Like, it does help some, but no, I don't think it fully helps. But just wear it. It's not going to kill you. I mean, I don't like wearing it either, but I'm not going to fight I don't it. like wearing it either, but I'm not going to fight that. If, like, if I'm going to Walmart or Target or anywhere for, like, five or ten minutes, it's not going to kill me. You got people outdoors working at construction or, or doing all that stuff. They're out in the sun, like, eight to ten hours a day. Like, especially during the summer where it's so hot and so humid. And yet you got people complaining about wearing it for five or ten minutes inside places. Are you serious? Come on, people. Please. Um, but, no, just... Hopefully, uh, now, here's the thing. I, sometimes I don't agree with what Trump has done. Or what he says. But... Nobody deserves to have COVID no. and stuff. Nobody deserves it. And I see the people, I see the people that says, oh, it's karma and stuff. I mean, yeah, kind of, you know, because he's the one that's been joking about it. But at the same time, it's like, no one deserves it. No one deserves to go through COVID. No one deserves to go through hell in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. So just take care of yourself not only for your safety for but for other people's safety as well stop being ignorant it's not that hard just do it but um and then what i saw a little while ago that joe biden got tested but his came back negative so i guess he's good but i'm not gonna get into politics anymore that but that's all i gotta say but that's been the big thing um what's it what's there you want to talk about that oh 
I know there's something I want to talk about with you, and I meant to talk about this with you even on the last episode, but uh, coffee. You've been getting back into them like the last couple weeks. Yes. And what was it the last time before that you haven't drank coffee since? August 2012. It's been eight years since this guy haven't drank coffee, and then all of a sudden the last couple weeks he's been getting back into it. He's had it every day. Every day. I used to drink coffee every day, and then I took a while break from coffee, and then I've been getting back into it a little bit recently. Like, I don't drink coffee every day, but if I'm, like, in the mood for it, I'm like, yeah, I'll have coffee. I like, uh, so we got a Keurig, and you know those little cups that you put put in the Keurig machine? The K-cups? Yeah, the K-cups. So you put those in, and it pours your coffee for you, just like that. Very simple, quick, and easy. And then if you still want to add creamer to it, you can, sugar, whatever. Um, but my favorite, so we got like McCafe, we got several other different flavors, but I like to put the McCafe uh, cup into it and then pour some uh, peppermint mocha creamer. Now that's delicious. That used to only be around the holidays. Now it's year round. I did try that. It is good. It is good. What's your favorite, man? I like the Sealess chocolate cherry flavored coffee. Now, he told me a little while ago, it's the, basically, you've ever seen those candies where there's a, it's chocolate, but there's a cherry in the middle? That's what he was talk. that's what he's talking about, and I haven't tried it yet, but is it really good? It's good. You know which one else is good? The Andy Smith chocolate coffee. That one's good, too. Andy Smith is the, uh, the little peppermint chocolates. Like, yeah. It's covered in, it's like chocolate, but... It has like the little green filling filling in the middle. Yeah. yeah okay. That's what I thought. Uh, but yeah, you've been getting back on the coffee, man. And what? <laughs> so this guy, okay. And I didn't know he did this until he mentioned it the other day. But he bought one of those uh, old coffee makers, like the old style coffee makers. You know, it's the coffee pot. You pour water water into the machine and stuff. Of course, you do that with the Keurig as well. But it's like an old coffee maker and stuff. You bought one of those. Mm. How old is that? Oh, God, probably from early to mid-80s. And it works, huh? Yes. So he bought one of those. Everything works on it. <laughs> and, yeah, we have, like, about three or four more coffee makers that Mom had. And they're, like, in the other room right now that you could have just picked up one of those and taken to your bedroom. But he bought, like, a 1980s maker. Jesus, Zach. That's crazy. And you, you have it, he has it in his bedroom. So he'll make the coffee in his bedroom. It's like, you're a wild man. Wild man. <laughs> um, and of course, this was long before the K-cup thing. It, because you just put the coffee filter in. Then yeah, I know. brown coffee. No, I, I know what you mean. You like get one of those paper coffee filters. You put it in the machine. And then you pour the coffee in the filter. And then you add water into the machine. And then it makes your coffee. I know what you're talking about, oh, okay, yeah. but yeah, look, I like the easy, lazy way, the Keurig, okay? I like, that's the, e that's the easy and lazy way. Yeah, there are days that where I like to do the, the lazy way, and sometimes I do it the productive way. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> but, yeah, for the last three weeks, I've been getting back into drinking coffee. Yeah, I haven't uh, been to Starbucks or Dunkin' um, much because I've just been making a coffee here. Which, by the way, between Starbucks and Dunkin' for coffee, Dunkin' wins. Dunkin's better than Starbucks for coffee. Yeah? Yeah. Dunkin's got... Uh, look, I, I, just like, I just like their taste of coffee better. Nothing against Starbucks. If I go to Starbucks, I'll, get, I'll still get like my caramel frappuccino or... Ice caramel macchiato, but if I'm like getting an iced coffee or something, I go to Dunkin' for that. Dunkin' is better. Coffee-wise, Dunkin' is better than Starbucks. I mean, I don't hate Starbucks. I, I still like Starbucks. I still like it. And I'll go to Starbucks every now and then, but if I have to choose between the two, that if, if it's facing in front of me, I'll choose Dunkin' uh, over Starbucks. Don't at me. Starbucks, uh, Dunkin' is better than Starbucks. Don't at me. Um... So, um, so yeah, you've been getting back to the coffee. Um, anything else, anything else going Oh, 
So the new Crash game came out. Have you played it yet? No, but I will soon. Why not, man? I just need to get my... Xbox you are not a dedicated Crash fan if you haven't played it yet. It literally just came out. What, what about is Crash Bandicoot about time, right? Oh, Crash Bandicoot 4 is oh, about time. Oh, 4. I forgot to say the 4. 4. Still Crash Bandicoot. The fourth game they're ever making, but about time. When did 3 come out? 1998. 22 years. God. Naughty Dog. Wait, no. Naughty Dog doesn't make it. Does Naughty Dog make... Did no. they make that Crash... Who made this Crash Bandicoot? I think, Activ I think Activision did. did Ac didn't Activision stay? Didn't Activision make the other ones too? Yeah, I think Activision made the Insane Trilogy. And I know they made the Nitro Field one. Right. So... Oh, it... it never mind. Of course you didn't play it yet, Zach. For what reason I thought it released last week? It just released today. Oops. You know what? I take back what I said. I'm sorry. Okay. No problem. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, okay. So the developer is Toys for Bob. Uh, the composer is Walter Mayer. And then publisher is Activision. Yeah, they they stayed to make this game. So, uh, PS4 is... Yeah, it's going to be for PS4, Xbox One. It's also going to be available for... The Xbox Series. I don't see anything about it being available for the PlayStation 5 yet. What about Nintendo Switch? I know they made Nitro Field for the Nintendo Switch. I, well. Yeah, I don't know if they made it for Switch. I gotta check on that. But uh, I uh, know Nintendo Switch had the Insane Trilogy as well. Right. So let's see. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I don't see where it says... Yeah, but apparently it's released today. Uh, no, it doesn't say uh, Nintendo Switch. So, I guess just PS4, Xbox One. It's still weird seeing the Crash Bandicoot game on Xbox. Like they did with uh, the, the Nitro Fuel game. And even the remasters, they decided to bring that to Xbox and stuff. Even Nintendo. Like, I'm like, that's weird seeing Crash Bandicoot games on what was originally a PlayStation thing. Yeah. And it's on Xbox, which I think is cool is to expand the brand, expand the, the, you know, the series a bit. I think it's cool. Yeah. And for those that never grew up on PlayStation, now they get an opportunity. Didn't they do the same thing for Spyro? Like the new, the like the remaster, didn't they? Yeah. Do for Xbox as well? Yeah. See, so that's cool. I, I like that. I like that idea. You know, just... And then, you know, there's some games that was only made for Xbox, never made to PlayStation. You know, speaking of Spyro, in three weeks it'll be 20 years since Spyro Year of the Dragon came out. That's your favorite one, huh? Yeah. That's my favorite one. Yeah, that's what we mostly, that's the Spyro game we mostly played during our childhood. I, did you have a little bit of childhood? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, that's the game we used to play in our childhood. <laughs> Like, you look like your voice is giving out there, man. Yeah. Childhood. Are you getting old? I think... Well, I hate to say this, but we do get older every second. Yeah, we do. I, yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, just a second closer of dying. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah, I mean... But yeah, get it. Just wait. Do you know that I had to plug in your PlayStation and Xbox? I do. Just not the Elgato. Uh, Just plug in your PlayStation and Xbox and I'll do the Elgato. I know. You, are, you know how to plug in consoles, right? Yeah, I know how to plug in so consoles. So do that, man! But yeah, the Elgato thing I would really need to learn. Okay. Yeah, because I'm afraid that I'm well, mess up. I can't set that up until you set well, up the I, Well, I understand that. Okay, well, get to that. I will do it. All right. I'll do that first day in the morning. I like how you like, like you schedule when you get to. I'm gonna do it first thing in the morning, not like later or Sunday or Monday. I like nope. First thing in the morning when I get up out of bed, as soon as I wake up, I'm setting it up. I'm not gonna take a pee break before. I'm not gonna get coffee before. I'm just gonna get off the bed and just straight to the consoles. Just saying. You know, normally, first thing I do in the morning, I use the bathroom. Well, that's actually what women do. Like I do every morning. Did you say that's what a woman does? No, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, you said woman. I'm like, well, I would think men does, does that too. Or else I'm a woman. 
See, you're making fun of me now, and I don't. I mean, no, 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 no. It's not that I'm making fun of you. It's just that I think he's just making fun of me. It's ridiculous. If you say so. Yeah, I think he's just making fun of me, guys. I don't think that's really rude. Um, but um, yeah, get the console set up, and I'll get the Elgato set up. Speaking of that, we gotta get back to gaming videos oh, together. I want to do that soon. Hopefully, we can get the barrier in that soon. It keeps getting pushed back, but hopefully, we get it. Didn't you also mention before that you wanted to do like some kind of challenge video? I want to do challenge videos too, and yet, I mean, we can honestly start that whenever we want. You guys, that's not like you're playing on consoles and you're doing streaming. I know a good challenge. Weird food combination video. You're disgusting. I'm going to be sick. Whatever. I'll think of stuff. But, uh, um, yeah, so there's that. I mean, that was just a suggestion. Are you nervous? No, why? It looked like I see people every time they put their like hands like this and stuff like under their legs. It's like they're nervous about something. I always see people do that. <laughs> now you just all come like, no, no, not nervous at all, right? Just so cool. <laughs> um, what else, Zach? So we talked about coffee. We talked about Trump getting COVID. Oh, we talked about a crash again. I thought it came out last week for a reason. I honestly, a lot's been going on. It's been hard to keep up with a lot of things. It has been. I will say that. So, I, I feel like I'm going to be busy traveling next year. Reason being is because uh, NASCAR uh, just released their 2021 schedule. They just made a lot of changes around and they added a few new tracks involved too, which I, I like new changes. I like it. Ugh. That's Sorry. disgusting, bless you. Um, but, so, of course, Daytona. I heard our cat, too. So, Daytona starts off the season. Then they're going up down south Florida to Homestead. Makes sense because they're already in Florida. Why not get the uh, Homestead race out of the way? And then they're going out west. West Coast Swing, Auto Club, Vegas, and Phoenix. And then they're going to come back here for Atlanta. And of course, that's a driving distance. What? How did you yawn? What? That was the most weirdest way to yawn. I'm going to put an instant replay of that yawn on this podcast oh, because that was just weird. Oh, like, no. literally, you're, you just turned your mouth sideways up. Like, what was that? I have no clue on this. How did you. <laughs> like, I can't. That hurts my jaw. I, I'll just yawn forward. Just, like that, but like, but <laughs> no, I think it's not just. I think I just we did it like this to like. Wait, so you were moving your mouth back and forth? Oh, <laughs> Zach, you're weird, man. Oh my god, that's probably the weirdest yawn I've ever seen. <sighs> just people moving them and not like. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not the first time I've ever done that. I've done that before. Can you not do that around me ever again? <laughs> just yawn normally because that was so weird. I'm like, I was just looking over at you. I'm like, it's all right. <laughs> so I, anyways, getting back to, so, and then I obviously want to go to the new tracks uh, next year. So. I'm looking forward to next year, but I know I'm going to be busy traveling next year, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm just looking forward to it. Is there anything else you want to talk about or you want to talk about? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the, I'm just still laughing about that yawning situation. That's really funny, huh? <laughs> I can't you're, help you're it. You're really laughing about that. I can't Having help a good it. time over here, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, it's better to have a good time instead of having a bad time, though. I'd rather just have a bad time. I'm just kidding. I don't well, that's that. just sad. You're right. Look, my life's sad anyways. Um, just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, what else? Are you want to talk about yawns again, or do you want oh, to God, move no. forward from that? Move forward from that. I hear our cat. Yeah, I hear our cat downstairs. I might actually bring him in here. Yeah, he sounds like he's up here. Well, bring him up here, man. Okay, oh, I will do that. Kitty, come here, Gordon. Come here, Gordon. So, if you guys forgot, we have a new cat. We've had this cat for a couple months now. His name's Gordon because oh, yeah, yeah. Come I adopted him, and he's a cute kitty. I adopted him because, and I named him Gordon because Gordon, come here, come here, 
Get over here. Come Why here. you stop there? Come here. Come here, Gordon. Come here. Come here, Key. Come here. Come, Come here. Come here. here. Key. Oh, there he comes. Here we go. Come here. Here's that kitty. Oh, wait. I can't pick you up. God. Look, it's Gordon. Hi, Gordon. Mm. Kitty, kitty. He likes me. Maybe. You better not be camera shy. Look, there's a camera right there. <laughs> there's a camera right there. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, yeah. What's down? Here. You, ow! God! Let me put you down! Chill! Whatever, you can stay in here for now. But, uh, actually, I got an idea. I'm gonna bring the chair here, right to the middle. It's gonna block our display here, our wonderful display. But I'm gonna put him on this chair to see if he'll chill here. Okay. So, come here. But yet, that's our new cat. Don't turn this chair. So, special guest appearance, Gordon, sit. Oh, you actually... So, Gordon, how you doing? Nice. Awesome. Um, how's your day? Nice. Zach, ask a question. Hey, um, hey um, can you act professional in the podcast, not lick yourself? That's really disrespectful, and I will not tolerate that behavior. See, look, he's kind of sitting next to you. He, yeah. He wants to be with you and not me. How are you doing today, Gordon? I just asked him that question. You gotta ask him a different question, Zach, okay. or else he's just sitting and ignores. us. How's your day going so far? What did I ju I just asked him that question. Gordon, come back to me. I'll ask you more que better questions and different <laughs> questions. Excuse me, can you not... You need to stop acting unprofessional. That's very unprofessional. No, that's fine. But you look at yourself, that's just uncalled for. No, what? All right, whatever. He's just done with us. I don't blame him. Maybe he's trying to walk away so he doesn't have to listen to me. So, uh, so special appearance, uh, Gordon. And now he's scratching up a box. Hey. Stop it! No, uh, sit down, Zach. Zach, sit down. Hey, stop it. Zach. Zach. Ow! Zach. I would have... I would have just told him to stop from here while sitting down. Okay, sorry. Whatever, I'm just going to ignore that. So, if you hear a scratching box in the background, that's because he's scratching a box right now. So, um, speaking of uh, pet, Zach, go ahead. Don't be disrespectful right now. Hey, now he's chewing on the box. <laughs> he is chewing on the box now. Why'd you bring him in here? Well, you told me to bring him in here. You don't have to agree with me. You could just say no, Joe. Okay, that's fine. You just chill there. Um, okay, and now he wants out. Oh my! We're never gonna get through this podcast. Un unbelievable! Unbelievable! You know how unprofessional, unprofessional this cat is. So impatient with us. Cannot just sit here. I might as well move this chair out of the way so you guys can see this awesome display. That, of course, cut a few changes. I uh. Recently just got these new cars. That's why I have them on the top shelf on display. Um, it's uh, Terry Labonte's number five Kellogg's. The uh, the Tony the Tiger scheme. Not the cornflake scheme, but, you know, Tony the Tiger. Of course, Dale Jr.'s Budweiser. A very amazing scheme in history. Tony Stewart's uh, 2002 Home Depot car. Championship car. Um, you got... Uh, Kenny Irwin's uh, 20 Haviland Ford over there. And then you got Jimmy Johnson's 2002 Patriotic Low Scheme. So those are the five cars I recently uh, got. I got those a couple weeks ago when I was at Bristol. And so they're at display on the top shelf. So pretty nice. <clears throat> so, you know, since we had going here, speaking of pets, like, we had a tragic loss last week. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys uh, have been following us, uh, Gizmo was like the black dog. The... Uh, Probably the best dog we've ever had. Just an amazing dog. Uh, you guys seen him in several of our videos and streams and stuff. Um, he unfortunately, uh, unexpectedly too, like this happened out of nowhere, but uh, he unexpectedly uh, passed away last Thursday. And it, it's crazy too, because he felt fine the day before. He felt fine the day before, then all of a sudden... What was it? That that morning we were gonna go and uh, we were gonna go somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and we had an appointment for something at eight o'clock in the morning, and so I was gonna sleep until it was time to go. And I heard a knock in my bedroom, and I 
I got woken up and I see it's Zach. I thought <clears throat> Zach was coming in to tell me, hey, we're going to be going soon and stuff. All, Zach, all of a sudden, Zach woke me up and said, Gizmo died. And I was, I was in shock. I'm like, no way, he, he just died and stuff. So we went downstairs and my mom, our mom already put him in a container to put him in, to bury him. And uh, just, it, it was surprising. It was, like a, it was like a sudden loss that we didn't expect to happen. So a few months back, before we moved out here, he had, he had a little bit of an issue. Gizmo was always diabetic. He, he was born diabetic, always looked diabetic. We've had, we've had to give him uh, insulin shots twice a day to keep up with his diabetes and stuff. And he's had a few complications with his diabetes before, but nothing very serious. A few months back, uh, we had to take him to the pet hospital because he had complications with his diabetes. It was the worst complication he had. Apparently, he had a problem with his liver, but he spent a couple of days there and he got a couple more tests before we uh, moved out here to Georgia. And we even uh, got him checked out after we moved out here and his liver was just fine. It was fully recovered. So we, we, pro we have, uh, we're assuming he died because he had a complication with his liver, but it just happened that fast because he was, he was awake and fine the night before, and then all of a sudden the next morning he was gone. Like, he was gone. And just sudden loss, and it just happened so fast that, I mean, had we known there was something wrong with him, we would have taken him to the bed, but uh, it was too late for that. He was already gone, but yeah. Poor Gizmo, man. Yeah. And that such the sweetest dog. He was <clears throat> sometimes he was dumb, <laughs> like he acted dumb, but he was the most amazing dog we've ever had. In my opinion, he he's probably the best dog we've ever had. Just cute, just always happy to be around people, just funny, just a good dog. And uh, so Gizmo's in a better place. At least, even if there was something wrong with him, it didn't look like he was suffering for long, which which is good. And at least we didn't have, like, if we took him to the vet, I wonder if it would have already been too late. Like they would have said, there's nothing we can do. You're going to have to make a decision now whether to keep him alive or we we have to put him down. Thankfully, we didn't have to make that decision. You know what I mean? Because that, you know, he would have suffered longer. But, you know, at least he went out without suffering. So, Gizmo, buddy. We still have Gus. We still have... Our dog Gus, he's still around, and of course we have our new cat Gordon. So we still have a cat and a dog, but it's just and it didn't hit me that Gizmo was gone until what was it? Last weekend. Like he died Thursday, but it wasn't till last weekend when <clears throat> we had family over and yet Gizmo was not around anybody. Like that's when I guess it actually reality sunk in that he was not around anymore. Yeah. So um, so we bury them, like, at, in our front yard, we're, we're gonna, ha like, we had, like, and a lot of people do this, they have, like, pet cemeteries, like, they bury their pets in their uh, yard, so we're doing the same thing here, but we're gonna have it in the front yard, so we did that, uh, we did this at our other house with our other pets, so we're gonna have it here, but, uh, yeah, guess what died, it's just tragic loss, just unexpected, too, didn't expect to wake up because of that, so... Uh, yep, uh, so we still have a healthy Gus, and we definitely have a healthy Gorn. Gorn's only one years old. Gus is like eight or nine. He's nine. Yeah. Still healthy. So hopefully he stays like that for a while, you know what I mean? Gus is was the same age as Gizmo. Yeah, but he doesn't have diabetes. I know. Just a normal, healthy dog. Hopefully he stays that way. So, yeah, just sucks. But... That's what time is it? We've been going for at least a little over half an hour, about thirty-five minutes or so. So, um, is there anything else you want to talk about? Like, is there anything else you have in mind? Well, the other day was the first day of fall, and that's and the weather is really it's, starting to get cold. It's fall now. No, well, it's not cold yet during the day. In, in mornings and nights, yes, oh, it's God, cold. Yes, it's starting to get cold at mornings and nights, but it's still been nice during the day. Still, it looks nice outside right now. 
beautiful day. Um, but yeah, it's not hot and humid, that's for sure. Like we've gone through this entire summer. Um, but I'm definitely seeing a difference in uh, the leaf, the colors of leaves turning brown and orange and all that stuff and leaves falling. I'm starting to see some of that. Have you noticed? Yes. See, when we used to live in California, we, I mean, we got seasons, but they were, they were not dramatic seasons like you get out here in the South or in the East Coast. Like, in California, you get green trees all year round. Like, you don't, you don't get, like, you don't pretty much get, like, a lot of the leaves falling. They may change a little bit of color, but, like, we don't get the cold out of California like you would out here. Uh, so, like, I'm definitely interested to see what uh, it's going to look like uh, with no leaves on the trees very soon. Um, the cold winters, the spring out here, what it's going to be like. But, like, in California, you don't get much of the change, you know what I mean? Temperature-wise, yeah, you do, but you don't get uh, much seasonal changes out in California like you would out here. So, I'm starting to notice that, uh... Starting to notice that. Yeah, me too. But yeah, man. <laughs> so um, can't wait to see what it'll be like around here during the winter time. Uh, there'll be no leaves around here. Cause what was it like? Well, before we purchased this house, we uh, of course uh, the uh, the realtor. I forgot what realtor this showed us photos of of the house. And of course, the photos were taken during the winter. Well, there were no leaves on the trees. Mm -mm. So I'm like, wow, this is definitely a forest, but like there's no trees around. This looks weird. But then, like, when we moved down here, also, it was just like leaves and just these beautiful trees around the beautiful green. It's not what we saw in photos. It looked like a whole different area. It looks like a whole different area when there's trees, and then when it gets to winter, when all the leaves have fallen, and all of this is just a tree with no leaves, it'll look different, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, I'm ready for it. We're ready for the cold. Not really, I'm not ready for the cold, but, uh, because California is like, what's cold? Like, and then you get snow, you may get snow out here, then you're like, what in the world is this substance? It did show a little bit of snow in that photo of uh, from in front and back of the house, but no, but like you, you don't get it much out in California. So you're like, you're like, what in the world is this substance out here? What is this white stuff? <laughs> well, that's called snow. That's called ice. And it's like, wow, really nice. <laughs> uh, and it's cold. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, yeah, I, we'll definitely see a lot of change out here. Yeah, I do hope we get at least some snow. I think it'd be cool to have some snow. Yeah. We, we have snowboards. Um, it's crazy because we've had snowboards even back out in California, but that was when we were going to North Arizona, North California, all that stuff to uh, go into snow, but we never really got snow in Southern California. We've always got the nice California weather out there all year long. Uh, so now we get snow out here, or ice, one to two. Get cold winters, that's for sure. At least we don't have to deal with uh, wildfires and earthquakes. Oh, God. Although now out here, we may have to worry about hurricanes and uh, tornadoes. Oh. So, you're never away from disaster. No. Natural disaster, that's for sure. Um, see what else is there. So, I'm going to Talladega this weekend. Um, this cat is still meowing. Shut up! You didn't want to be in here! Shut up! I'm not sure if you guys can hear the cat from in the background, but uh, definitely going off right now. Just, just very pissed off. Not getting enough attention. Could have had attention here a little while ago, but decided to walk away. Whatever. Um, meow. <laughs> Sorry. No. Uh, so I'm going to Talladega this weekend. Thankfully, it's just driving this since I don't really have to travel. I could just drive. It's like an hour and a half away. It's pretty nice. It's supposed to be great weather on Sunday, so I'm ready for that. Ready for exciting, exciting Talladega race. 
Hopefully it's exciting because the spring race earlier this year was very exciting. Uh, hopefully the same again. And then I don't have any plans on traveling until February next year. Like after this week, like after this weekend, I don't think I'm going anywhere for a while. Like I think I'll be around here, which would be kind of nice. Not that I don't mind traveling, but it would be kind of nice just to, to just chill a little bit. And hopefully really get back on the YouTube grind. I've been a little inconsistent on having new uploads on the channel recently because I've just been so busy. It's just a lot going on, but uh, hopefully uh, get right back into the grind very soon. Which, by the way, you finally got back into making YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. What, after a couple months? Yeah, at least around there. So I did not know that Zach didn't record any new YouTube videos for a couple months. And part of it was because of the move out here, but we lived, like, the day he told me that, we've already lived in this house for, like, a month and a half. And here's the thing. We don't have the best internet set up here yet. We will eventually, so we can start streaming over here, and we're doing, like, videos together. But uh, but Zach told me that, oh, I, have, I haven't uh, recorded any new videos recently. I haven't uploaded. I'm like, how long has it been? A couple months. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, okay, Zach, it's been that long, huh? So, he surprised me that. He's like, well, it's because we don't have the proper internet set up. I'm like, well, you can still record videos. You can still record and upload videos, but it's just that uh, the upload speed's going to be a little bit longer because we don't have the best internet here yet, but we are going to get it eventually. That's why we haven't streamed at this place yet because um, we're just waiting for the stronger internet to come in, which will... We are going to get that, then we'll start streaming over here and doing all that stuff. Doing on online gaming over here, but until then, you can uh, record and uh, record whenever you want yeah. and upload. I was surprised when you told me two months, I'm like, oh my god, has it been that long, Zach? Jesus, man. But, yeah, I've been, uh, been a little bit slow trying to upload now the last couple of weeks just because I've been so busy and all that. Hopefully, uh, get back into the grind some more soon because i just been busy and just haven't had time uh we'll be on this podcast for another we'll probably have another 10 minutes of this podcast hopefully you guys are enjoying the podcast so far uh if you are make sure you click that like button below to show support for this episode of the lombard podcast so uh um uh, what else going on zach we're uh what's going on then uh i kind of almost crashed on my atv this morning how did you so I, I know I told you guys on the last episode I crashed off my ATV. I didn't crash it. I just fell off of it. The ATV never crashed. I was just dumb. It just fell off it. Thankfully, I was okay. The ATV was fine as well. Thank you. Um, so how did you almost crash? Well, so, so this afternoon I went over to go check the mail. And of course, nothing. Did you say nail? I did say that. Dang yeah, it. he went to go check the nail. What the nail in the mailbox, right? Be sure. Okay. I meant to say go check the mail, but as of course there was nothing near yet. But of course, once this is over, I'll go check again. But then, as I was trying to drive my way back to the house, I kind of ended up losing control, but I almost crashed. So I had to really jam on the brakes. You know, jamming on the brakes sometimes makes it worse. I know. Stuff. So, whatever how you lost control, maybe you did it the right way, but, uh, because, uh, how'd you lose control? I think what happened was, and my own fault too, I went a little too fast on the, as going down the hill a bit. Mm. So, I did it on full acceleration. And, so and this was heading back to the house? Yeah, that was heading back. What downhill was it? Was it the downhill closer to the house or like by down here by the entr entrance? Down here closer, downhill closer to the house. Oh, okay. I I know probably is it before that uphill? Like yeah. That very high uphill. Yeah. Right before you head to the driveway. Yeah. You talking about that downhill, huh? Yeah. Jesus, Zach, like, what are you thinking? I don't know. Yeah. I was being, I was being stupid. Yeah, I don't go. I don't go fast down those hills. I don't do that. I just try to take it easy. Now, uphill, I will, but going downhill, of course, there's a corner there, too. So, yeah. <laughs> of course, you're going to 
lose control. Yeah. Idiot. I hate to say this, but that was an idiot move. I got fur on me. Gordon. What a messy cat. Yeah, he does shed a lot. What a messy cat. Unbelievable with this uh, cat. Yeah, he does shed a lot. So is Gus. So we oh, have two pets now that sheds a lot. My God, can you like chill out a little bit? What else? Uh, are you mocking me? Hey, at least I didn't do the weird yawn. I yawned straight, not turn my lips around. Oh, I know. That was funny. Sorry, I'm making fun of you. I swear, I'm gonna look back at that. I'll be like, what an idiot. <laughs> This guy's stupid. Oh, Zach, you you weird me out sometimes. It, like, what makes you do that? I, I have no you. clue, honestly. You have no clue. Unbelievable. I mean, to be fair, you do weird me out sometimes, too. You know. I mean, it is true. <sighs> yeah. That's true. That's true. Good, I'm glad you agreed with I me. I still need to get, get, get a stroke. Um, I still need to get cushions for these chairs. Yeah. I mean, it's not that they're bad right now. I mean, I'm still comfortable on this. Right, but I think I'd be more comfortable on my back. Oh, okay. You know? I mean, this, the butt part is fine. Sometimes your back, you know, because how low this is, and it's pretty much down to your lower back. Yeah, I mean, it can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. Yeah. Can you stop yawning? Sorry. Can you really stop yawning? Hey, at least I yawned the correct way this time. This uh, this podcast title is going to be called Zachy Yawns Weird Stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to name this one. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, but it will be uploaded on Sunday. Uh, so we got... So October is here. We got three more months, pretty much, of 2021. Thank God. Hopefully 2021 can be better. You said 2021. Until I said until 2021. I, but you said that before that. What did I say? You said 2021. No, but how did I say it? You said... You said... You said 2021, then thank God, then hopefully get to 2021. That's how you said it. Wait, I am so confused. How are you confused I said, about that? Shut up. Yeah, you're always confusing me. Shut up. Um, I said... I said that we got three more months until 2021. Thank God. Because oh, we, until 2021. That's what I said. I even said it. And yet, yet, here you are. Keep correcting me. See, this is another podcast here. The last podcast, it was about calling a truck a car. I thought you said three more months of, of 2021. No, I said until. Oh. I well, guess. I hope I did. I mean, we'll go back and take a look we'll at the footage, we'll, but, uh, my God, Zach, it's like you said... Yeah, I don't know what is wrong with me throughout this episode. Even last week, you got on to me about, I call the truck a car. Like, <laughs> now you're getting upset because you have weird yawns, and then all of a sudden, you're, like, confusing me again. Unbelievable. See, this is... You think I'm weird. I mean, I am, but, like, you got this guy, too. This guy is pretty weird as well. Stop it. Okay. God, so dumb. So immature. I mean, you can be dumb sometimes, too. Let's be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we had a dumb mom, too. Um, <laughs> what? That was so mean. Shut up, Zach. She would call us out, too. I don't want to hear it. I can say something back to her. It's so funny because, like, sometimes I'll talk to my mom in ways, not like brutal way, but like in a joking way, like jo like small banters. And people has uh, been like, do you talk to your mom that way? I'm like, yeah. You know? Like, it's okay because she talks to me that way too. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, it's fun. It's cool. It's cool to banter sometimes. It's fun. It's a little fun. Um, but <laughs> we, uh, so yeah, 
three more months until 2021. Thank God, because like, hopefully 2021 can be a reset. We're already in fall. We're already in October. Halloween is coming up, which is it really going to be Halloween this year? Because have you seen the guidelines for Halloween this year? Oh, uh, yeah. They're pretty it. much canceling Halloween almost. Like, they're, re they're requiring, they're, hope they're uh, suggesting people not, not do door-to-door -door trick or treating. But, like, spend time with family, do, like, small gatherings, like, small parties. You can still do costume parties and stuff, pumpkin carving and stuff. But they probably don't want you to do, like, door-to-door -door trick or treating because COVID. So it's like, it's not going to be the original Halloween that you anticipate on Halloween night. Yeah. So, but Thanksgiving is still happening, and then Christmas, and then 2021. Yeah. Jesus, I don't even know how it's fall. What's good about fall, I'm not wearing one right now, but flannel. Wearing my flannel clothes. I do have a flannel shirt, so. Yeah, but I get to wear those. I haven't, I only wore, wore a flannel once since fall started, but, and what, I left my, uh, so I took off my flannel outside because we, I forgot what we were doing outside, but I'm like, I have to take this off because it was starting to get warm. I left it outside and then it rained and it got soaked. So now it's just hanging outside, just drying up. Still need to wash it, but it's just out there right now. But, yep, flannel. Pretty cool. Um, what else going on, Zach? Anything? Uh, no, not much. So, nothing much? Not much for right now. So, what's going to be happening? So, I'm going to Talladega this weekend. Not going anywhere for a while afterwards, which is kind of nice. Be, be around home for a while. Um, holidays coming up. Oh, I've been uh, wanting to maybe do another episode of A Day Within 2SC4. I saw that. I, uh, like... Like, what was it? Because I uh, was, uh, I'm like, you know what? I think it'd be cool to do one since moving to Georgia. I mean, normally I used to do a, a day within two four every time I reach a milestone and subscribers like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. I did that, right? Mm. Last year in 2019, I did one without a, I pretty much did one after I hit 60,000, but I pretty much wanted to do one 2019 edition, but now 2020 edition is coming up and uh for it's gonna be a first day day within 2sc4 ever since moving out here to georgia hopefully that's coming soon i've been i've been uh planning on doing another edition of a day within 2sc4 when is that gonna happen hope i want to do it by the end of this month hopefully before this month is said and done either october or november i want to do another episode of it and then and then I'm so I don't I'm not sure yet if I want to do Vlogmas yet. I know people have been asking me, Joe, are you gonna do Vlogmas again? I didn't do Vlogmas last year. I did it in 2017, 2018, and that's 25 straight days of vlogs from December 1st to Christmas Day. And it's it's it can be brutal because like you're editing, you're sitting up late at night to edit the vlog, and you're doing that for 25 days straight. So hopefully I. Uh, Maybe I'll do another. I'll do another vlogmas. Of course, it'll be in Georgia this time. You guys might see snow. You guys might see winter out here. So we'll see. Um, I'm not sure about vlogmas yet, but definitely another episode of a day within two as far is definitely coming very soon. Definitely coming. I want to get. I want to do more vlogs. I want to do more vlogs. I want to do. I want to get back to Joseph versus Zachary. Do more vlogs. I want you and I to do like streams together. Maybe other videos together. Got to get back to that. Since I'm going to be around here for a while, why not? Yeah. Get back into it. Yeah. Definitely get back in the grind of doing those kind of videos. So I think uh, I think it's time to wrap it up here. Um, I think we're done with this episode of the Lombard Podcast, episode three. Uh, Zach, mm -hmm. hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for being here again. Thank you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching uh, episode three three of the Lombard Podcast. Tune in next time for episode four of the Lombard Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode of the podcast, 
Make sure you click that like button below to show support for this video. And also, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss another video. Do the same thing for Zach's channel, Magnum05. The link is in the description below of his YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell so you don't have to miss another of his uploads. Of on his channel and once again if you guys have any questions that you would like Zach and I to answer in episode 4 of the Lombard Podcast make sure you post your question below in the comments and who knows maybe we will be answering your question in episode 4 of the podcast so thank you guys for tuning in today hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day Joseph Lombard aka Interest 4 with Zachary Lombard aka Magnum 5 and we will see you next time on episode 4 of the Lombard Podcast have a good day take care Bye-bye.